My number five of all time was one of the biggest TV shows of all time from the ABC network, Roseanne. I think this show was very, very important. Um, this show hit on so many levels as far as a hardworking family and not be able to pay the bills. Uh, the whole idea of Dan Connor being a carpenter and is still trying to build a boat in that garage. And he kind of knows he ain't going to make it like he's just never going to get ahead. His kids are have kids and no one's kind of doing good. I thought Roseanne herself uh, putting this show together. I don't know a hundred percent sure who was the first like gay couple, male couples like to be a regular on a TV show, but I thought she broke ground on that. I definitely thought Roseanne also was open to things. Uh, she also was the first network television female kiss was was Roseanne. Like Ellen may have been the first, you know, actress to come out, but the first televised kiss on TV it was a joke, but it was Roseanne. Roseanne, I, I think, was is is amazing. Uh, she was always whacked out since her her and Sam Kennison, for a lot of people don't know. When they were younger, they got run over by cars, both of them. And Roseanne and Sam Kennison had to learn how to even hold, hold a fork. And so for anything you, and Roseanne may have done that's a little out there, there's a lot to choose from. I kind of give a little bit of the Gary Busey sort of pass, you know, like, yo, know, kind of know what you're dealing with. But this show was such a, an amazing thing. And I just love, I loved all them, all the kids, everybody, everyone that David's character, the character of Darlene's, I, I could go on, uh, James Galecki and all of that. I just think it was one hell of a show. I don't want to sit here all day. But Dave, did you watch Roseanne at all? <clears throat> this is another show that a lot like Home Improvement. I remember being a kid, you know, it being on in the 90s. I remember watching, you know, episodes here and there and really liking it. But it's one that I haven't revisited since then. But I should. Christina, is this you at all? You know, what's funny. I totally forgot about this show, but I loved this show growing up. I loved it. And I, I still remember as a teenager watching this show and reflecting a back on it and like actually catching on to the humor. And, and it's true. Like that's how it was. Like people struggled and they, they portrayed the every bit of it. It was great. I loved it. I, I think it was one of the first network show. Cause a lot of those shows were to make you, you know, feel good comedy. Like we're going to pick yeah. you up and like Roseanne had every problem, mom problems and all mm -hmm. that stuff, like how terrible our mom was. And yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it was a perfect blend of drama and over the top humor mixed perfectly. Yeah. Like realistic shit. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and how many shows feature characters working like minimum wage jobs, but then they live in gigantic apartments and you're like, how the hell do they afford that? Right. <laughs> Too many characters. They have to have a bigger room. <laughs> Scotty, how did Roseanne like, did that resonate over there? Yeah, it was quite popular. Um, I was probably too young to realize any of the sort of like, undertones, but I remember watching it when I was a kid with like parents and stuff and they'd be laughing and I'd be like, you know, just watching it. But, you know, it's only when I was like older, you understand what I was actually watching now, if you know what I mean, like.